Hi guys, it's your girl Lola Loves You, and today's topic is what really damaged Whitney Houston vocal cords. Um, contrary to popular belief, uh, Whitney Houston's vocal cords were damaged by cigarette smoking and not by drug use. A lot of people over the years thought it was, you know, the side effects of using drugs, but it really wasn't. Clyde Davis did an interview um, a while back and said the doctor been told Whitney Houston if she wanted her voice back, she had to stop smoking. I never knew that Whitney Houston changed smoke until after she, her passing. I never knew. No, I'm lying. I didn't know that she changed smoke until I watched Being Bobby Brown. Um, you know, a lot of celebrities out here are drug addicts and they still perform fine, you know, but Whitney Houston uh, vocal demise caught up with her by her chain smoking cigarettes, not taking care of her vocal cords. And also doing drugs, also maybe allegedly smoking drugs uh, as well with smoking cigarettes. So that's a double whammy on our voice. Um, side effects, let's see, I'm gonna look up the side effects of a singer that smokes uh, cigarettes. It's, um, it's a risk. The main risk factor of smoking for singers smoking cigarettes is cancer of the larynx. Um, they say well, the vocal cords become very hoarse. You cough, your coughing increase. You increase secretions and infections. And Whitney Houston was known for always having a cold and infection. It was not from, in my opinion, the drug use. It was from cigarette smoking. And um. Me first finding out when he used to smoke cigarettes, I was young and I was watching the bodyguard and I saw her smoke a cigarette. And I was like, oh, maybe she's just doing this for uh, acting. And um, my mother said, no, she's like, she look a little too comfortable with that cigarette and her lips a little dark. She said, I think she smoked because I have an aunt that has the same mouth look, and look they look similar to what you use the same teeth and mouth and their lips is shaped kind of the same and they got this it's like a it's like a glamorous smoker's mouth i can't explain you all know how when you used to have a beautiful mouth and their mouth look like and my aunt is a chain smoker with asthma y'all so as my mother said i think she is she is a, a smoker so as time went by i remember being in the ninth grade and i saw a tabloid photo someone caught her with a cigarette in her mouth and she looked surprised, she had these sunglasses on, and I remember seeing the cigarette in her mouth, and I remember that picture terrified me so bad, because I'm like, the greatest voice of all time is killing her instrument. Cigarette smoke is not a joke, it's not a game. And you can get lung cancer and things of that nature, and you can just die, or not even affecting you, affect others around you. And I just like, oh my gosh, she really smokes cigarettes. But I was like, when well, she make them, you know, when she nervous or here and there. Because, you know, some people just smoke here and there. I know I have relatives that smoke maybe a pack of cigarettes within a month. Or it lasts them for two months because they don't smoke them like that. Every other day or when they, you know, when they want to uh, relax or calm down. Or, you know, they might have a, a rough day. They just want a cigarette. But Whitney Houston's chain smoking goes back to when she was a, a little girl, a young girl. Um... Allegedly, her and her brother used to sneak her father's cigarettes because her father was a chain smoker. Sissy Houston was a chain smoker, but she stopped because she, um, her vo vocal. And she needed, you know, with you, Sissy Houston, um, her voice was her job. That was her career. So she had to, you know what I'm saying? She sung all those background songs and with, with her group also, the sweet inspiration. So she needed to save her voice. So she stopped. She quit cigarette smoking. Um... Dion Ward, um, I saw a picture of her not too long ago. She still smokes cigarettes, allegedly. Dion Ward, she come from that era where cigarette smoking is very glamorous. And as Whitney said, as a young child, you know, you look and see celebrities and, you know, grown ups smoking cigarettes, it looked glamorous. So I believe she just was trying them just to be bad or just to look glamorous and not knowing that she's going to become addicted because of the nicotine inside of the cigarettes. So her father, Dion Warwick, chain smoke, Dee Dee Ward smoke. Um, and it just, it reminds me, Whitney Houston, how her vocal decline came about. It reminds me so much of uh, Motown singer um, Mary Wells. And she died of, um, long, uh, not lung cancer. I think she died of throat cancer. She died of some type of throat cancer, but she was a chain smoker as well. And it just reminded me how her voice as she got older came, became more raspy and she couldn't sing like she used to sing and she ultimately died of cancer. And it's just so sad with Whitney Houston as you know, 
during her uh, most trying times, and especially when she went through nothing but love to her, it, that's, all those performances are results of cigarette smoking. You know, chain smoker all through the years, not taking care of yourself, not doing your breathing treatments, not, you know, doing your vocal exercises, not, you know, if you're smoking constantly 24-7 and you're abusing drugs by, through smoke, it's going to annihilate your vocal cords. You know, Whitney used to all, already had a scare by having nodules in the early 90s and having to get vocal surgery. So it was just like, girl, what are you doing? So, you know, or she got away with it for a lot of, for a long time. But when you start taking care of yourself and you're abusing drugs and you're abusing cigarettes, your vocals are going to be gone. So that's why it was so hard for her to, to breathe. That's why she was always raspy. That's why her you, her voice was always heavy because of the cigarette smoking. Clive Davis said the doctor's been told with you since you stop smoking. And it's so crazy how bad habits carry along, especially from a child looking at their mother. So Bobby Christina, she developed the same habit of smoking cigarettes. You have pictures of Whitney and Bobby Christina smoking cigarettes together. And it's just crazy that she picked up a lot of her mother bad habits. And that um, even it, it affect Bobby Christina voice very terrible. I remember Bobby Christina singing on uh, the interview with Diane Sawyer. And she had a beautiful um, voice. And I remember her singing on Whitney Houston's Christmas album, Little Drummer Boy. Sing, beautiful voice. And as she became um, a teenager to an early adult. Her voice was gone. She sounded just like her mother voice now, very raspy, real a hard, harsh voice. Just seemed like she always got need to clear her voice because of chain smoking. Chain smoking will tear your voice up. Even Aretha Franklin had to stop smoking. And she just was saying after she smoked, stopped smoking, she gained weight, but how she regained her voice back. That you know it became even more powerful. When you are a vocalist, especially a vocalist like Whitney Houston, like no other, you have to be very careful and cautious with your vocal cords. You understand? Because you're using them 24-7 and doing your work. And actually, the doctors, especially vocal doctors, don't want you to be talking that much. They want you to save your vo voice for performances. And a lot of times, um, as an artist, you feel like you can do, you know what I'm saying, if you're blessed with talent, oh, it's, it'll come back, or, you know, I just got rest up for a few days, and it comes back, but you don't understand when you're smoking cigarettes, it tears your vocal cords and everything, your breathing, and your heart, everything down. It tears it down, and you just don't understand, especially for a singer, you need your voice. And sometimes she will quit, and then sometimes... She rarely ever quit smoking cigarettes. All, you know, all through her career, she always had a cigarette. I didn't know she chain smoked. There's so many pictures over the years that circulated now after her passing of Whitney Houston smoking. Cigarettes, all the, I have a picture of Whitney Houston with a cigarette smoking in her mother's kitchen before she was even signed to Arista Records. Smoking a cigarette in, in the kitchen. Um, Whitney Houston also was, uh, in my opinion, a selfish smoker. She didn't care who she smoked around. She smoked around her kids, I mean, her, ch her child, and she smoked around her house, and she didn't care, unapologetic. She, I remember making her making a comment on being Bobby Brown that, you know, um, people die of different, every, you know, people smoke every day, and they die of different other illness and things of that nature. And when people talk like that, they like, well, I, got, I smoke, and who cares? That's how her attitude was on being Bobby Brown. She was smoking everywhere. In the house, in the limo, in the car, in this, in that, in the bar. So she just was the, and at that time in her life, she was not taking care of her health. She was not taking care of herself. She was not going to the doctor. She was not doing things that she was supposed to do as a singer to really treat her vocal cords, especially being a avid cigarette smoker. You can't just sit up here and smoke cigarettes 24 7 and not doing any breathing treatments or breathing exercises you know because all that locked in smoke is in her body and what he used was so big so all that smoke is in her vocal cords in her lungs in her body it's taking effect on her heart her vocal cords her lungs i mean you know, even though if safe as Whitney Houston still was here today, she could have been had cancer of the larynx if she didn't stop cigarette smoking. And the damage, and it's so sad. If you could see a clip of Bobby Christina singing "I'm Your Baby Tonight," she can't even hardly breathe. Her voice is so strained and so dry from that cigarette smoke. So it's just so to me, it's just so foolish for Whitney Houston to play with her instrument like that. 
So sad. But a lot of singers do. I can't blame when you a lot of singers do. A lot of singers do smoke cigarettes all the time and it don't bother them. But it does. If you literally listen, if you're a fan of that artist, you're going to realize their voice is kind of changing. Or they, you know what I'm saying? They can't break a cold like they used to break a cold. They still raspy. You know, meningitis, laryngitis, you know, their vocal cords are numb and they can't hit, they can't even talk. Um, Dionne Warwick, love Dionne Warwick. Dionne Warwick has a beautiful voice, but Dionne Warwick is a chain smoker and her voice, it tells she's very dry. She her voice is very raspy now. When she talks, when she she sings, it's like she's it's not the powerful voice back in the day. She's not like a Patty and Gladys, because you can tell those women don't smoke. And if they did, they they've been quit their habit and they have powerful harder voices not saying Dion Wilber can't sing but her voice is very hoarse versus Pay Bell and um Gladys Knight their voices are not hoarse even Aretha voice was in you know hoarse today she died today she passed her voice she still had a a great tone because she stopped cigarette smoking just about just like a sissy Houston when she play and sing I always love you and hit those Whitney Houston notes she can do that because she been stopped smoking so yeah, so the misconception is Whitney Houston lost her voice due to the results of drug use, and that's the myth. She lost her voice due to cigarette smoking and chain cigarette smoking. Whitney Houston always smoked a cigarette, and I never, I never knew that as a child. But seeing these pictures is really, it's still to this day. I can see a picture of Whitney Houston smoking. It scares me. It's just like it really, it freaks me out so bad because I'm like. You are the number one voice, and you it's just, just like somebody like a basketball player, Michael J, like Michael Jordan. And Michael Jordan, he keep jumping on a trampoline, um, doing flips or jumping off the trampoline and onto concrete ground. And you know what I'm saying? And it might, you know, first couple times it might not catch up with him, and then one day he might just break his ankle. Or you know, somebody just doing something to threaten their crap. And that's every time I see a picture of Whitney Houston with a cigarette, it's like, girl, you are threatening your crap. But let me know what y'all think. When do y'all remember um, finding out that Whitney Houston smoked cigarettes and chain smoked cigarettes? When did you hear, first hear the change in her voice? I will say my thing, first time I remember really knowing she smoked cigarettes, um, it was in uh, 2000, 2001, that I knew that she chain smoked. And I also um, just remember during 96, um, from 96, 98, her voice was changing very dramatically, like for the uh, um, Constitutional um, Hall, uh, the concert she had in D.C., um, Classic Whitney, her voice was horrendous, terrible, couldn't hit notes off, her voice was dry, she was very hoarse on the performance, even Sissy Houston and Whitney Houston's book said that Whitney Houston's voice was really gone during that moment, but in somewhere in early, late 98 and 99, she regained her voice back. And very strong in a strong way because um during the My Love Is Your Love tour, Whitney Houston was doing breathing treatments. As you can see on the documentary Cannot Be Me, she has a breathing treatment um machine and she, she's breathing too. And um she was taking care of her voice better back then. But afterwards, Whitney Houston, she just I guess she didn't care anymore. I guess she thought it well, it'll come back and it never really came back quite the same again. But anyway, your girl Lola loves you. This is the history of Whitney Houston cigarette smoking and so to clear up the myths. But anyway, your girl Lola loves you. Please leave a comment, thumbs up, share my video, and I'll be back for another video. Bye now, honey bunnies. Mm -hmm.